morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, social media family. This is the Ning, the Coffee Queen, coming to you live here from Columbia, South Carolina, where we serve a delicious, healthy alternative to what you are already drinking. Hey guys, I'm going to get ready to get three devices, and I'm going to try to stream from three different platforms. But right now, we're streaming from Facebook Live, and we're streaming from YouTube. So if you're on my YouTube channel and Facebook, if you would like to go over to our YouTube channel, uh, we're just starting to build that up, build our brand on YouTube. So go to, feel free to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. And we're going to have lots of good information for you because we're going to start doing something a little different. We're going to start streaming things that are trending. We're going to talk about holidays and all those good things, but we're going to start talking about things that are trending and how it relates to coffee. And so, guys, you know coffee is our great pick-me-up. And so some of you all may need a great pick-me-up. And so we're going to always try to be positive. So stay tuned, join in, have a good time, and let's get right down to business. As I said earlier, I am Denise, the Coffee Queen, coming to you live here from Columbia, South Carolina, where we serve a delicious, healthy alternative to what you are already drinking. And what I mean by that, guys, you already drink coffees and teas. Well, we serve a healthy alternative as in... Our coffees, guys, are organic. Our coffees and teas are organic, guys, and so you want to start drinking something a little bit more healthier, especially because now that we know uh, that our land has been plagued with this virus, guys, we want to do everything we can to stay as healthy as possible because we've heard if it get if 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 we are uh, uh, contract the virus, guys it can take out our immune system. And so guys, let's build up our immune system. If you're already drinking coffee, guys, you want to at least go ahead over to DaneenTheCoffeeQueen.com and order your bags of coffees. Uh, and I say that because we are really, really, really starting to become more aware of our immune system and how we can affect the marketplace with a healthier brand. Guys, a healthier blend, I'm sorry, a healthier blend. And so guys, we know that you already drink coffee or you wouldn't be watching this video. And so we want to make sure we can uh, uh, contribute to your healthy immune system. So what we're going to talk about today still, our campaign is our fathers are our first heroes. Our fathers are our first heroes, you're going to be hearing about that over and over and over again. And we're going to launch our coffee box. The coffee box is going to be launched on Father's Day, guys. But right now is the time to go ahead and get your Father's Day box. Why? Because we want to get it in their hands prior to Father's Day. So as I always like to stop and take a pause for the cause, I tell you, customers rock. We really, really appreciate you all because, guys, the coffee boxes are selling fast right now. I totally appreciate my customers, and that's who's buying them right now. We haven't, I don't think we had any new customers just yet, but that's okay. Our uh, former customers, guys, they are called rebuyers. If you are a custom, customer of mine and you want to contribute to the small business, if you will, come on over here and get yourself a coffee box. Now, guess what? You can sponsor a coffee box, so you don't have to tell me that you don't drink coffee. You know someone who drinks coffee. We want to celebrate Father's Day, guys, and we want to do that by giving them a coffee box. As well as you can sponsor someone. You can sponsor your pastor, your deacon, your coach, your teacher. You can sponsor someone with a coffee box, and I guarantee you they're gonna, they are going to uh, be blessed by this coffee box. Now, I keep getting the question, what is in the coffee box, guys? So today, uh, excuse me, I'm going to say this. This week, we're laying it out. We're laying out everything because I had the box, but you really couldn't see. So we're going to lay out our, our flag products, right? Our flagship products that's in the coffee box. But then, guys, we're going to put some other stuff inside, some, some snacks and stuff. So that's not a flagship product because if I put uh, hand sanitizer in one and then I run out of hand sanitizer on the temp box, guys, I can't put hand sanitizer in the temp box. So... I always want to guarantee you the four flagship products. I want to guarantee you the four flagship products. products. And for our uh, deluxe box, there's five flagship products. Five. So anyway, I want to guarantee you that to make sure you know you're getting that. And then all the other stuff is just goodies, guys. It's just real. It's just goodies. And so you don't even have to have this box come to your house. We can ship it off to whomever you would like to get the box. And check this out, guys. I'm, I'm hearing from the post office itself that they are uh, running behind. And so I want to encourage you to go ahead and get your box today. What I mean by get your box today, go ahead and pay for your box today and you'll be part of the first shipment that's going out for Father's Day. And yes, guys, they can get it early, but we'd rather them get it early than get it late. So anyway, we're launching our coffee box. And again, our campaign name is Our Fathers Are Our First 
hero. So let's talk about a hero. Oh, but before we go on, hey guys, today's, to, <laughs> I'm sorry, today's video is brought to you by Jim Bean. Today's video is brought to you by Jim Bean. So in our coffee box, you're either going to get Jim Bean or New York, New York. And I'm going to tell you, New York, New York is our um, flagship product. It's our flagship product. That, excuse me. It's our number one sales product. I'm sorry. It's our number one sales product. But this Jim Bean is taking off like a rocket. And I knew it would because it's really smooth. It's really good. And it gives you that kick, guys. And so, as always, I'm going to go here. We don't have any sugar here. I'm going to put my little nitro cream in here. Y'all hear that? Uh-oh, running out. I'm going to have to get some more, right? But our nitro cream, guys, sound like I'm at the coffee house. So I'm all excited about that. So let me go ahead and taste our Jim Bean. Jim Bean, guys, it's our Italian. I'm going to read it from behind. It's our Italian blend, right? It's roasted in the Italian espresso tradition. Our espresso radical uh, blend consists of four single origins of coffee. So let me read that to you. Organically grown coffee from Central America combined with an organically grown South America uh, bean, and it has two other beans from Africa in it. So it has an uh, African bean, a South, a South uh, let me get it right, a South American bean, and a Central American bean. And so please forgive me with all of that. I didn't have this coffee yet, so hold on. I might have to read it back to you. Mm. Guys, I don't have any sugar in this coffee. And this coffee, hold on, please, hold on. Mm. This coffee is so smooth. I can't make this up. But if this coffee wasn't good, I wouldn't be on video doing Oh, hold on, please. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, this coffee is delicious. It is, it's an Italian coffee. It is delicious, guys. Uh, and when I say it, it, it was, it's not an Italian coffee. Let me be clear. It was pressed in an Italian espresso way. That's what it was. But it's from South America, Central America, and African. So it's a mix of beans. Pressed in a Italian Italian espresso way. So that's how the coffee is made. The bean is made. It's crushed. It's made that way. Guys, it tastes so good. So you really want to get your hands on some of this Jim Bean. If you're not ready to get the box and you just want to taste our Jim Bean, guys, we are doing a 30 to 40 percent off. Uh, excuse me, a 30 to 40 percent savings on our coffees because of the pandemic. We know. Uh, about the economy right now, and so we're not trying to make a whole lot of money at all whatsoever. Matter of fact, we're <laughs> our margin is very small, however, because we want you to be drinking our coffees when our coffees go back to its original prices, you won't have a problem getting it because you're going to know exactly how, how it tastes. So, anyway, moving on, our fathers are our first heroes, our first heroes. And guys, I wrote down some stuff, and I said, Well, you know, let me give you three ways. To identify our father as a hero. Three ways that we can identify our father as a hero. Number one, our father is our provider and protector. That's one. Provider and protector, guys. Our fathers, and when we say fathers, because I'm going to go into that deeper into the week about who you identify as your father, because it does not have to be your blood father, right? It does not. And so we want to be clear, if you identify a man in the community because your father has passed on and gone home to be with the Lord, just like mine, you still will be able to sponsor a box and give it to a man in your life that you know that's a good guy, a good man. He's helped you in many ways. He's helped your children in many ways. He's helped the community in many ways. And so we're going to identify what is a father to us. But right now, we're talking about three ways you can identify a father a father as a good father in your community and in your home. So number one, he's our provider and our protector. Guys, do I have to say any more? A, a father, a good father, will have two and three jobs just to make sure his children can go to college, just to make sure his, 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 his they have a roof over their head. Like, his main deal, and I don't know who teaches men this because I'm not a man, but at the same token, Who's ever teaching men? And it's instinct. I think it's instinct. Just like women are nurturers, that's instinct. It's in us already. And so I, I just believe that. And so men know that they have to provide for their families. So good father, guys, is a protector and a provider. I love it. Guys, how do we know our fathers are heroes? Because we're talking about them as heroes right now. I love to talk about, and this is, this, is, this is minor, but it's a big deal, especially for women. Fathers are the ones that teach us all about cars. Now, don't get me wrong. We know we have women that know about cars, but that's not the norm. That's an exception. And so what I like to talk about is how fathers, first of all, they teach you how to drive. Because mom nerves is way too... <laughs> Who can say amen to that? 
Mom's nerves are way too shaky to be teaching somebody how to drive. But the father, he's kind of calm, even though he's about to run into that tree. <laughs> He's a good person to teach you how to drive. He teaches you how to put gas in your car. I know you may think this is a small feat, but I'll tell you, I mean it when I say it. It's nothing for a young person to run out of gas. Because they didn't know how to keep their eyes on the gas tank. I've seen it too many times, guys. And so fathers teach you how to gas up your car. They teach you how to go to the, they teach you how to buy a car. I'm just going to stay in cars for a minute. They teach you how to buy a car and how, and, and it's not as prevalent as it was when I was buying a car, like it's a haggle thing. Like, okay, who's going to get the best deal? Fathers teach you how to do that. They even teach you how to be patient and walk away. They teach you how to be patient and walk away when you're buying something like that, guys. And then they teach you how to not allow people, allow um, people, salesmen to get over on you. So they are really our first heroes. We learn a lot of life skills, meaning skills outside of the home from our dads. We do. And so, guys, I love to talk about that. And then lastly, because that's, that's, that's two things, and I'll give you lastly, they lead by example. How are they our heroes? Fathers dress a certain way. They talk a certain way. They move a certain way. And they always have money in their pocket. Oh, I love that part, right? So, guys, I just want you all to know we're celebrating Father's Day. And we want to stop by here and say we wish all fathers, right? We wish all fathers lots of love and kindness in their life because you deserve it, guys. We're, we're standing up with men in America today with all this foolishness going on, guys. And, and when I say foolishness, let me be clear. It's not foolishness. The things that are going on, on that are negative, this police brutality, that's not all police. Like, I love to talk about Sheriff Lott. Someone on here need to forward this video to Sheriff Lott because he, he means business. Sheriff Lott means business. We have a great sheriff in our town. And so because of that, his deputies are pretty good. So guys, I know they are, you know, bad, but there are also some uh, amazing, uh, amazing men, amazing sheriffs. And just like there are bad uh, African-American men, there are some amazing African-American men. So stop being nervous about an African-American man and just know that, that God provided, you know, provided them here on this earth and they're going to do some amazing things. Class of 2020, the men especially, we look up to you. We know you're going to do a lot in change. And guys, I need to always say this. We affect change at the, at the, at the ballot. We affect change at the voting booth. So get yourselves down there. But anyway, this was about fathers are our first heroes. I just gave you three ways that are, are our heroes. It's through cars. It's through the way they walk and talk. And it's the way that they provide and protect us, guys. Again, I got a friend named James Roach. I'm promoting his book. He don't even know it. But I'm promoting his book, Just Be a Man. Guys, this is a wonderful book. I read this book. I had my son read this book, right? Because I don't know exactly how to when it comes to men, but I know I have a responsibility to my adult son to still show him how to at least treat women. And so guys, this is Deneen Ambersley. If you just uh, join me, affectionately known as Deneen, the coffee queen, we stopping by here with our cold brew coffee. And we're promoting uh, fathers. We're promoting fathers right now. And guys, you can visit us on www.deneenthecoffeequeen.com. Go to our gift services. You want to go ahead and, 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 and go ahead and order your box, your box right now. Why do I say right now? Because we want to make sure Dad gets his box on time and even early if it have to be, if need be. What's going to come in the box, guys? We're going to have coffee. We're going to have a tumbler, and we're going to have a French press. Now, those are three th three things. Now, we're also going to have a mask. That makes your fourth, your fourth item. I just didn't bring the box right now. <coughs> and what we're going to do? We're going to have the box laid out so you can see it. There won't be no doubt in your mind you want to support a small business. Again, it's called the Coffee Box. We have a tumbler. We have coffee. We have a French press, and we have a mask. Hey, guys, we don't celebrate fathers the way we should. Uh, and when I say the way we should, the way we celebrate mothers. But we're going to change that. We're going to have you uh, go ahead and order your box right now at DeneenTheCoffeeQueen.com backslash gift services. Guys, you don't have to drink coffee. We can we can uh, swap out the coffee with teas or cocos. You just got to let me know. You got to let me know in advance. So when you're filling out your information to buy, just put it in the comments. And I don't know what to do from there. You have an opportunity to put it in the comments. We're not swapping out stuff. And no, no, no. We're just going to make sure you have your four 
flagship products and we're gonna make sure guys you have a lot of goodies the goodies are gonna blow your mind and guys again this is the name ambersley affectionately known as the name the coffee queen i'll see you back here tomorrow in the meantime we're going straight marketing in regards to celebrating fathers let's celebrate our fathers if you see me here and you know me guys i'm going to do a direct reach Yes, our sales team is going to do a direct reach to you. Yes, our sales team is going to do a direct reach, and we're going to ask you. So be prepared, and we're not going to just ask you, do you want to uh, support the cause? Because it's not supporting the cause, but at the same token, you can sponsor a box. You can sponsor a box for your, your child's teacher who helped your child graduate. You can sponsor a box for your pastor. You can sponsor a box for your and, and, and anybody on here that knows uh, the church I go to, you know our pastor loves coffee. So you can sponsor a box for your pastor, for your deacon, guys. We're just asking you to continue to support small businesses. It's a little rough out here, but guess what? Coffee can always stay in the, in the running, if you will, during a down market. During a down market, it's really still a good product, but that's what we did. We went in and we reduced our cost. Not that our quality has been reduced, because absolutely not. But when we raise our cost back to its original cost, guys, guess what? You have already been enjoying the coffee, and we will look forward to seeing you again. In the meantime, in between time, this is the Neen, the Coffee Queen, coming to you live here from Columbia, South Carolina, where we serve a delicious, healthy alternative to what you are already drinking. Sponsored, sponsored by today's video is our Jim Bean. Mm, and it's cold brew, guys. I got ice. Listen, that's ice in there. It's iced coffee, not cold brew. It's iced coffee. Mm, mm, mm. And guys, ain't nothing like getting that iced coffee in the winter. I mean, excuse me, in the summertime, right? Because it's hot. The lights be hot. But I know I can't sit here and drink some hot coffee because, woo, them lights and the hot coffee might have something going on over here. Hey, guys, I got to get off of here. In the meantime, have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Again, we're talking about our fathers as our first heroes. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.